Hello, this is a video demonstration of the reverse Polish notation calculator for MP3 for ECE 190 for spring 2012. And right now I'm looking at my terminal window um, in my MP3 directory. And these are the files that you'll get after you run SVN update to get the latest uh, files from your repository that we've recently put up the mp3 files for you to complete this assignment. Um, we see cli.asm and that contains the CLI code which we talk about in the <coughs> write-up on the wiki. Um, there's mp3.asm and that's the file that you will be modifying for this assignment and there's also mp3.lcs and that will uh, that's just a, a script which will help us run the program after it's been completed um, and here for me this mp3.asm uh, it's already been completed uh, so this is that I can show you how it's supposed to run uh, once you've done it correctly um, first I'm going to assemble the, uh, the two files using LC3AS. So there were no errors. And so now that I've assembled both of them, I can run the simulator. And here now it's running. Uh, this CLI code is running and it's waiting for me to type in uh, the expression in reverse Polish notation. Um, so I'll type in this is 8 plus 3 and you know for more details about this notation you should read the write-up on the wiki page. And So when I press enter, when I press enter it, um, the CLI parsed the input it saw the 8 and then the 3 and then the plus, and it passed those three in that order to the handler subroutines, which are the part that you need to write for this assignment. So first it called handle number for 8, and then handle number for 3, and then handle operator for plus, and then handle end for the end of the expression. Um, and those subroutines did the appropriate things to keep to put those numbers on the stack and then take them off the stack and compute them when it saw the operator as described in the in the write-up. And if you tried running the program before you have written the code for the handlers, um, then just nothing would happen, no answer would be displayed when you pressed enter. Um, I'll try a few more expressions here. So this is 7 plus 7 which is 14, and then 14 times 7 uh, should be 98. And um, you, the program is supposed to be able to account for certain kinds of errors that can happen. So for example, if, um, if you have an incomplete expression, so like if I do this one again but without the last operator, it says incomplete expression. Um, or if I were to just do this, the stack underflow. So for more information about why that happened, you should uh, refer to the wiki page. And then also another important thing is uh, division by zero, of course, isn't allowed. So in this case, it throws the error for division by zero. And uh, yeah, so that's a, a demo of how it's supposed to work, and you should be able to give it long, complex expressions, and if you've done it correctly, it will compute them for you.